Unit 1. Names and Titles. Page 2. 2. Let's listen. What is the correct name of the hotel guest? Circle the correct answer. 1. My name is Maria Carter, and I have a reservation. Is that M-A-R-Y-C-A-R-T-E-R? -E no, Maria. M-A-R-I-A. -A. Oh, right. Here it is. Two nights, right? That's right. 2. Can I have your name, please? Smith. Susanna Smith. Is that S-U-S-A-N? No, S-U-Z-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Sorry, Miss Smith. I don't see anything here, and the hotel is full tonight. What? 3. Mr. Wilson? That's right. Harry Wilson. Is that H-A-R-V-E-Y? No. H-A-R-R-Y. They call me Dirty Harry. Oh. 4. My name's Abramson. A-B-R-A-M-S-O-N. Do you have a reservation for me? Hmm, just a minute. First name Joseph? That's right, Joseph. Ah, yes. Here it is. Five. My name's Louis Jackson. Is that L-O-U-I-S-E? No, that's a girl's name. Oh, sorry. It's L-O-U-I-S. Of course. Six. Can I have your name, please? Cruz. C-R-U-I-S-E. And your first name? Marley. That's M-A-R-L-E-Y. That's an unusual name. <laughs> yes, it is. I hate it. Page 3. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Cindy's father is taking phone messages for her. Listen and complete the forms. 1. Hello. Hello. Can I speak to Cindy, please? Sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Bob from school. Bob Jackson. Can you spell your last name? J-A-C-K-S-O-N. Okay. And what's your telephone number, Bob? 691-3839. Okay. Do you want Cindy to call you? Yes, please. Fine. I'll give her the message. 2. Hello. Tom Waite speaking. Hello. Can I speak to Cindy, please? Sorry, she's not here. Can I leave a message? Yes, of course. Thanks. This is Nancy. My number is 391-8246. Please ask Cindy to call me. Okay. I'll ask her to call you as soon as she gets back. Thank you. 3. Hello. This is Cindy's house, but Cindy's not home. Oh, I see. Can I leave a message, please? Yes, I'm ready. Thanks. This is Brian calling. Brian Kennedy. Is that B-R-I-A-N-K-E-N-N-E-D-Y? Yes. And my number is 271-8914. 271-8914. Okay. And will you call again later? Yes, I will. Four. Oh, no, not another one. Hello. Hello. Is Cindy there? She's not here. Who's this? Um, this is her teacher, Miss Wilson. Oh, Miss Wilson. Yes, of course. Uh, do you want to leave your number? It's okay. I'll call back. Page 3. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. 
Listen again. Circle the correct answer. Page 4. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen. Are the woman's greetings formal or informal? Check the correct answer. 1. I'd like you to meet my friend, David Wilson. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. 2. Hi, let me introduce you. This is your new boss, Susan Jackson. Good morning, Ms. Jackson. 3. Hello? Hello. This is Bob Cruz calling. Good evening, Bob. How are you? 4. Hello. Do you remember me? I'm Michelle Bolton. Hi, Michelle. How's everything? 5. Good afternoon. I'm Charles Smith. I have an appointment at 2 o'clock. Hello, Mr. Smith. Nice to see you again. 6. Good afternoon. I'm John Carter, your new student. Hello, John. 7. Hello? Hi, this is Brian Abrams. I'm returning your call. Hi, Professor Abrams. Thanks for calling. Did you get my homework assignment? 8. Let me introduce you. This is your grandmother's doctor, Ruth Steinberg. Hello, Dr. Steinberg. I'm glad to meet you. I've heard great things about you. Page 4. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What name does each person use? Circle the correct answer. Unit 2. Describing People. Page 6. 2. Let's listen. People are describing other people. What are they describing? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. So is your boss young? He's in his 30s, I guess. About 35. Two. It's quite long. What color is it? It's light brown, and it's a little curly. Three. He's really not very tall. About 175 centimeters. Oh, yeah. That's not so tall. Four. He looks about 17. No, he's older than that. He's almost 25. No, I don't believe it. He doesn't look that old. Five. She likes to wear it really short. Yeah? And is it straight or curly? Curly, really curly. You can't miss her when you see her. Six. Is she short? No, she's really tall. About 180 centimeters. Seven. Is she in her teens or her 20s? I think she's in her 20s. She's really nice. Do you want to meet her? Yeah, sure.
eight. It's not really long, but it's very straight. And it's sometimes green. Green? Yeah, he sings in a rock band, I think. Page seven. Three, let's listen. Task one, listen to these descriptions of people. Check the correct picture. One. What does your girlfriend look like, Tony? Cindy? Oh, she's tall, and she's got long, dark brown hair. Two. Tell me about your boyfriend, Anne. Well, his name's Bob. He's 17. Let me see. Well, he's got curly blonde hair. He's not very tall, about average, but he's really good looking. Three. So, Bob, what's the new girl in class like? She's pretty tall, about 170 centimeters. She's got glasses and short, curly hair. I think she's about 20. What's her name? I can't remember. Anne, I think. Four. So, tell me about your cousin, Paul. Well, she's very pretty. Really? Is she blonde? No, she's got dark brown hair. Everybody likes her. She's an actress. Really? I'd like to meet her. Page 7. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Page 8. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Some parents are looking for their children in a department store. Listen and write each child's age. 1. It's my little boy. We were looking for some pants for my husband. Now I can't find him. Don't worry, ma'am. We'll find him. How old is he? He's seven. I see. And what color is his hair? It's light brown. Don't worry. We'll find him for you. 2. My little girl was here a minute ago, and now I can't find her. She's probably in the toy section. Can you describe her? Yes. She's five years old. And what color hair does she have? Brown, and it's very curly. All right. Let's go to the toy section and see if she's there. Three. Has anyone seen a young kid? How old, sir? He's ten. He's always getting lost. Drives me crazy. Where did you last see him? Over by the video equipment. What color is his hair? Blonde and pretty long. Too long. Four. Excuse me. I've lost my little boy. We were looking at some microwaves, and he was bored and... Calm down, sir. Can you describe him? Yes. He's eight. Really cute. And what color is his hair? Dark brown. Okay. Let's see where he is. Just sit down and relax. Five. Excuse me. I've lost my daughter. Is she around 13, about average height, with short blonde hair? Why, yes. She's looking for you, over there, in the shoe department. Thanks a lot. Page 8. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Which child is being described? Number the pictures. Unit 3. Clothes. 
page 10. 2. Let's listen. Sandra is describing the people at her party. Which person is she describing? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. Which one is David? David? There he is. He's wearing a jacket and tie, and he's got reddish blonde hair. Okay. Thanks. 2. I'm looking for Janet. Oh, she's wearing a long dress, and she's got glasses. Does she have long hair? No, it's not really long. 3. Which one is Ron? He's wearing a dark suit and a tie and sneakers. Sneakers? Okay, thanks. 4. I'm looking for Barbara. There she is, over there. She's wearing white pants and a red blouse. The one with the scarf? Yeah. 5. Who's Andy? He's wearing shorts and a T-shirt. He's got short blonde hair. Oh, I see him. Thanks. 6. I'm looking for Patty. Hmm. There she is. She's wearing a yellow skirt, a blue blouse, and red sandals. Thanks. 7. Is Mary here tonight? Yes, she is. See her over there? She's wearing jeans and a green shirt. Jeans and a green shirt. Yes, and she's wearing a funny hat. 8. Where's Ken? Oh, the bodybuilder? He's here somewhere. He's wearing shorts and a tight shirt, as usual. Tight shirt? Yeah, he likes to show off his muscles. Page 11. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. People are trying on clothes in a department store. Listen and number the pictures. 1. How are the pants, sir? I think they're too short. What do you think? Yes, I think you're right. They certainly are too short. Can you get me a longer pair? 2. Do you like this blouse? Well, I think it's a little too big. I guess so. Yes, it is pretty big. You definitely need a smaller one. 3. Are the sneakers comfortable? Well, I, I think they're a little small for me. Too small? Let me find a bigger pair. Four. Are those jeans all right? I'm afraid they're too big for me. Okay, then let's find a smaller pair. Five. How does the t-shirt fit? Is it too tight? Do you have a looser one? Six. How do you like the sandals? Too big, I'm afraid. Too big? Let me find a smaller size. Page 11. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What does each person need? Circle the correct answer. Page 12. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Does the information you hear match the description? Listen and check the correct answer. 1.
Sonia was very well dressed. She had on a jacket and a long dark blue skirt. She was also wearing a yellow blouse. She wasn't carrying a bag, but she did have a small wallet with her. Oh, and I remember she had nice gold earrings. I also remember her shoes. She was wearing black shoes with very high heels. 2. Brian was very casually dressed. He was wearing some really old jeans, you know, the ones with holes in them, with a new wide leather belt and a white t-shirt. He had on some boots, high brown ones. They looked really nice. He also had a red scarf. He usually wears a couple of big rings, but he wasn't wearing any at the party. He was wearing an interesting silver watch, though. 3. Kevin was wearing a yellow shirt and a green tie. I didn't like the tie, but I liked the shirt. He also had on brown pants. He was wearing sneakers with long white socks. Kind of cute, actually. And he had a leather bag over one shoulder. 4. Mrs. Graham looked really good. She had on an interesting long red skirt and a beautiful gold and black jacket. And she had some lovely earrings and a nice necklace. She also had a long pink scarf over one shoulder. She didn't have a bag. She was wearing sandals. 12. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What was each person wearing? Circle the correct answer. Unit 4. Time. Page 14. 2. Let's listen. Listen and write the correct time on each clock. 1. Excuse me, what's the time? Uh, it's 10.15. Thanks. 2. Do you have the time? Let me see. Yeah, it's 10 after 2. 2.10? Thanks. 3. What time is it now? Hey, it's exactly 12 o'clock. Midnight. Happy New Year! <laughs> 4. Can you tell me the time, please? Yeah, it's 11.30. Wow, I'm late. Thanks. 5. Do you know what time it is? Yeah, it's a quarter to four. Thanks a lot. Six. I'm late again. What time is it now? It's 7.50. Class starts at eight. I've only got 10 minutes. Page 15. Three. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to these radio announcements. Circle the correct time. 1. You are listening to Star Radio at 90.9 on your FM dial, the station with the best classic rock in town. The time is 7.15. Time for more classic rock from 90.9. 2. This is WBYZ 105.1 FM, and the time is coming up to 10.05. And we've got more music for you, so stay tuned. 3. You are listening to X98.5 on your FM dial, the jazz station. The time now is just a minute away from 2 o'clock. Four. This is your AM station talk radio, WXYZ. 
Time now is 11.02. Don't touch that dial. Five. This is the BBC. The time is 6.15. Six. You are tuned to WQXR, your classical music station. And the time is exactly 1.40. Time for the Ninth Symphony by... Seven. This is 1010 News Radio, the station with all the news all the time. Time now is 9.30. Eight. This is your station for easy listening, KABC. The time right now is going on 5.05. Page 15. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again and circle the correct radio station. Page 16. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are calling about showtimes for movies. Listen and write the showtimes you hear. 1. Thank you for calling Cinema World. Our box office opens every afternoon at 2.30. Today in Cinema A, we are showing Holiday in Rome, starring Gina Jones. Showtimes are 3.40, 5.45, 7.55, and 10.15. 2. In Cinema B, we are showing Hong Kong Warrior. Showtimes are 4.30, 6.40, 8.30, and 10.45. Don't forget to visit our new coffee bar located next to Cinema B. It's open every day from 2.30 to 10.30. 3. In Cinema C, we are showing Ralph the Rabbit. Showtimes are 3 o'clock, 4.40, 6.30, and 8.15. Also, at 10 o'clock, tonight only, a sneak preview of Crazy Cops, Hollywood's latest comedy action film. 4. In Cinema D, we are showing The Alien from Saturn. Showtimes are 3.20, 5.10, 7.20, and 9.40. Don't forget, our box office closes every evening at 9.55. Page 16. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Write the times. Unit 5. Dates. Page 18. 2. Let's listen. Listen to people talking to visitors. Write the date the visitors arrived and the date they are leaving. 1. Have you been here long? No. We arrived a few days ago, on the first of the month. And how long are you staying? We're staying exactly two weeks. We leave on the 14th. 2. When did you get here? I arrived on the 4th. Will you be here long? Until the 13th. Not long enough, really. 3. Did you just arrive? I arrived on July 2nd. Are you enjoying your vacation? Oh, yes. But it's too short. I leave on the 10th. 4. When did you arrive? We got in on the 5th. How long are you staying? We're leaving on the 15th. We're just staying 10 days. 
Five. Did you just arrive? We got here on the third. And do you plan to stay long? Yes. We're not leaving until the end of the month. The 31st? That's right. Six. When did you arrive? On the 6th. And when are you leaving? On the 16th. Page 19. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Don is checking messages on his voicemail. Listen and write the date and time of each event. 1. This is Dr. Costello's office. We're calling to change your dental appointment to August 3rd at 9.30 in the morning. Thank you. Two. Hi, Don. It's Sue. I'm calling about Cindy's birthday party. It's on July 28th at 8 p.m. Are you free? I'll call you later. Three. Hello, Don. This is Aunt Betty. How are you, darling? Listen, I'm coming to town next month. And I'd love to see you. I'm arriving on August the 10th at 11.15 in the morning. I'll call you from the airport. Bye. Four. Hi, Don. This is Ted. Listen, we can't play tennis on Saturday. Are you free Sunday afternoon, July 26th, around 3? 5. Hello, Don. This is Francis. I'll be back for my trip on Tuesday, September 22nd. Let's meet in my office that Tuesday around 6 p.m., okay? Let me know. 6. This is Star Travel. We've booked your flight to New Orleans for next month. You leave on August 2nd on Flight 101 from Kennedy Airport at 2 p.m. Page 19. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Page 20. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about their birthdays. Have they had their birthdays yet this year? Check the correct answer. 1. Isn't it your birthday this month, Ted? Hey, it was a month ago. Oh, sorry. I forgot all about it. So did you have a big party or something? No, I had to study because of the exams at school. 2. Have you had your birthday yet, Jill? No, it's in two months. Oh, that's right. So what are you planning to do this time? I'm going to New York with my mom and dad. Hey, fabulous! 3. Have you had your birthday yet, Sue? No, it's not till next month. Don't forget this time. Don't worry, I won't. I'm planning to have a barbecue. Great! That sounds fun. 4. Is your birthday this month or next month, Brian? I can't remember. Oh, it was a month ago. Really? So, how was it? It was okay, but very quiet. I had a family party at home. Oh, that sounds nice. Page 20. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What activity did each person do or will each person do for his or her birthday? Circle the correct answer. <music> Unit 6, Jobs, page 22. Two. Let's listen. People are talking about work. 
What job are they talking about? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. I'm a salesperson. I sell computers. I like my job. It's really interesting. And I meet lots of interesting people. 2. Yes, I like it a lot. I like acting in front of lots of people. One day, I hope to write a book about my work. 3. It's an interesting job, and it's good for me because I love travel and flying. I visit lots of countries every year. And, well, I know it's silly, but I like my uniform. 4. It's a good job for me because I like food and I love cooking. Lots of famous people come to our restaurant, too. 5. Nursing is a good job for me. I like helping people. You know, sick people. 6. I like my work because I work outside. It's hard work, but the pay's good, and it keeps me in shape. Page 23. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about their work. Check the correct information about each person. 1. Hi, Ted. Oh, hi. Are you still working in the bank? Yeah. 2. Where are you working now, Sonia? I just started as a chef in an Italian restaurant. Come and try my food. Sounds great. I'd love to. 3. Are you still at school, Bob? No. I graduated from college last month. Congratulations. And what are you doing now? Nothing much. I'm tired. I'm taking a long vacation. 4. What do you do, Marie? Me? I'm a lawyer. How long have you been doing that? For about five years. Do you need a good lawyer? Well, not yet. 5. Are you a receptionist, Suzanne? Yes, I am. Do you like the people you work with? Well, it's my first week on the job, so I'm not sure yet. 6. Are you still a tennis instructor, Martha? No, I'm not. I didn't like it. So what are you doing now? Well, I'm trying to find a new job. 7. Do you work in an office, Fred? Not anymore. Now I'm an English teacher. I just had my first class. Really? How was it? It was terrific. 8. Are you still working at the bookstore, Sue? Yeah, but I don't like it. I have to stand all day and I get so tired. I'm sorry to hear that. Page 23. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Match the people on the left with the information on the right. Page 24. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about their jobs. Do they like their jobs? Check the correct answer. 1. So how do you like your job, Bill? Well, it was okay at first, but now, after two years, I don't like it. Oh, why is that? It's boring. I do the same thing every day. I'm really sick of it. So why don't you change jobs? I'm well paid. I like the money. Oh, I see. But you should leave if you're not happy. Yeah, maybe I should. 2. Do you like teaching children, Christine? Oh, yes. I love working with kids. They're so much fun. Well, I guess you have the perfect job. Yeah, I like it a lot. There's just one thing I don't like. What's that? The distance to school. It's too far away. It takes me an hour to drive there every day. 
Wow, that must be awful. It is. But the schools that are near me are not as good. 3. How is your new job going, Anna? Good, thanks. I really like it. What do you like best about it? I think it's the people I work with. They are so nice. People make all the difference in a job, don't they? They sure do. The only trouble is I have to travel a lot. I'm away from home for about two weeks every month. Yeah, that can be difficult. It is. I hope I won't have to travel so much next year. 4. Do you enjoy being a salesperson, Nancy? Yes, I do like it. I get to meet so many people. Is it hard work? Yes, it can be. I don't like the long hours. I'm always really tired when I get home at night. That's too bad. Why don't you quit? Because I think my boss is great to work for. 5. How long have you been working in a restaurant, Martin? For more than five years. Wow, you must really enjoy it. Oh, no. I don't enjoy it at all. It's hard work and pretty tiring, too. I'm on my feet all night. Oh, I see. But the tips are great. I really should find a better job soon, though. Page 24. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What do the people like or dislike about their jobs? Check the correct answer. Unit 7, Sports and Exercise, page 26. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about sports and exercise. Listen and number the pictures. 1. Do you play sports on the weekend, Rita? No, I hate sports. Really? So what do you do on the weekend? Uh, I watch my favorite programs on TV. Well, that's not too tiring. 2. Do you like sports, Rod? Sure. I play a lot of sports. So what sports do you play? Well, everything. Baseball, volleyball, swimming. But my favorite sport is tennis. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I play every day after work. 3. You're in great shape, Martha. Thanks. So how do you do it? Well, I go to the pool about three times a week, and I swim for about two hours. Two hours? Are you practicing for the Olympic Games or something? 4. How do you keep in shape, Ron? Me? I travel. <laughs> what do you mean you travel? Well, I ride my bike about 20 miles every weekend. 5. Wow! What happened? I went skiing. Gee, that looks pretty bad. Yeah. Do you often go skiing? No, it was my first time. 6. Do you get much exercise, Joe? Yes, I do. I walk a lot. Where? To McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. I walk there about four times a week to get a hamburger and fries. Page 27. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Which sports or activities is the person talking about? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Your muscles are so big, Dave. What do you do to get them so big? Well, I go to the gym every day after work, and on Saturdays, too. I love it. Do you work out? 2. Do you play a lot of sports? Yes, I do. Do you like volleyball? Yeah, I play volleyball during the week. Want to play with me and my friends tonight? 3. You're in good shape, Ken. Do you play a lot of sports? Yes, I do. I love sports. I play volleyball on Thursdays, 
And on Saturdays and Sundays, I play tennis. Which one do you like the best? Four. Do you like playing sports? Nah, not really. I don't like exercising at all. But I do watch a lot of baseball on TV. You really should get some exercise. Five. What kinds of sports do you play? Let's see. Well, in the summer, I enjoy windsurfing, but I don't do anything in the winter. Why not? Six. So, do you get any exercise? Well, not much. I don't have a lot of free time, but about once a week I walk for an hour. Oh, where do you walk? Page 27. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What do you think each person says next? Circle the correct answer. Page 28. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about how they spend their free time. Check the correct information about each person. 1. Bill. I think exercise is so important to good health. There is a really good sports club near my school. During the week, I play tennis there for an hour before school starts. On weekends, I usually work out at the gym near my house for a few hours. I also play baseball with some friends from school. It's so much fun. 2. Liz. I don't like jogging or doing anything too energetic. I prefer taking walks. I like to take a short walk every day through the park across from my house. Sometimes my boyfriend goes with me. It's nice to talk and look at the flowers and trees. On Sunday, I like to swim, but for only about a half hour. I sleep the rest of the weekend. 3. Victor I am a big football fan, but I only watch it on TV. I can't stand playing it. There are great games to watch on the weekend. I also enjoy watching tennis. I'd like to learn someday, but I don't like to sweat. I love chess and often play with my younger sister. She's really good at it and usually wins. On the weekends, I love to play video games with some of my friends. 4. Maria I just love to exercise. I like many different sports. Let's see. I like swimming a lot. I get up very early, around 5 a.m., and swim for two hours from Monday to Friday. I also enjoy basketball and play with a group of friends from work every Tuesday night. And I've also started playing golf this year. Before playing, I go jogging to warm up. 5. David I enjoy exercise, but I don't do it as much as I should. I meet a friend every Wednesday, and we play tennis. I'm not a very good player, but it's fun, and we usually play for an hour. On weekends, I like to bicycle in our neighborhood. I guess I spend an hour or two doing that. Oh, and I love baseball, but only watching it while sitting on the couch eating popcorn. Page 28. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Match the people on the left with the activities on the right. Unit 8, Locations, page 30. 2. Let's listen. Some people are asking where items are. Listen and check the correct picture. 1. 
Mom, have you seen my magazine? I think it's in the living room on top of the TV. Two. Now where's today's newspaper? I can't find it anywhere. Oh, I was reading it. It's on the sofa between the cushions. Three. Do you know where the remote control is? Look in the living room. I think I saw it in front of the TV. Oh, yeah. Four. Where's my tennis racket? Did Dad borrow it again? I wish he'd ask me. I saw it in your bedroom under your bed. Oh, yeah, that's right. Page 31. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Pat is helping Tom decorate his new apartment. Listen and write the number in the location she suggests. 1. Do you think I should put the magazine rack next to the window? No, not next to the window. I'd put it in the corner next to the sofa. It will look nice there. 2. Where do you think I should put the coffee table? Should I put it next to the sofa? I think it will be better in front of the sofa. It'll be more useful there, I think. 3. What about the plant stand? It might be nice next to the window. Yes, next to the window, either on the left or on the right. I think I'll put it on the right. 4. Now, what about the bookshelf? It's so big. Hmm. What do you think? How about next to the door against the wall? To the left of the door? Five. Now I need to find a place for this old chair that my mom gave me. How about over there? You mean in front of the window? Six. We still have to find a place for this end table. Yes. Where can we put it? How about next to the sofa, in the corner near the door? Yes, good. Is that okay now? 7. Where is a good place for the TV? How about in the far left corner, to the left of the window? Yeah, that sounds good. I'll put it there. There. How does it look? 8. What about the dinner table? Maybe we can put the dinner table against the wall, across from the sofa, in the middle of the wall. Across from the sofa, against the wall. Is that what you mean? Page 31. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What do you think each person says next? Circle the correct answer. Page 32. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Tony is helping Cindy clean up the house. Where should he put the items? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Do these magazines go on the bookshelf? Yes. Put them on the bookshelf, please. On the top is fine. Should I put them beside the dictionary? Yes, next to the dictionary will be fine. I'd like to read these magazines later. They look interesting. 2. What about the remote control for the TV? Put it beside the TV. There's a magazine there, the TV program guide. Should I put it on the TV program guide? That's fine. And remind me to get a new battery for the remote when we go downtown. OK. 3. These look like your car keys. Where do you usually keep them? They're my extra apartment keys, actually. Just put them in one of the drawers in the desk. The top two drawers are already full of stuff, so I'll put them in the bottom drawer for you. They'll be inside an empty box. OK. 4. Do you want me to put this baseball cap away? 
Yeah, just put it behind the door. Where? Should I hang it on the doorknob? No, on the hook behind the door. It will be fine there, thanks. I didn't know you wore a baseball cap. It's not mine, it's my brother's. Five. Do you need these glasses? Not right now. I only use them for reading. Do you see the case they go in? I don't see it. Oh, never mind. Leave them on the coffee table next to those sheets of paper. Okay. Six. There's a belt lying on the floor here. Oh, yes. That's my brother's. He leaves his clothes everywhere. It drives me crazy. Should I put it somewhere? Leave it on the chair. He always sits there. Okay. The chair next to the window? That's right. Page 32. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. This is the end of Compact Disc 1.